So today I'm going to make a 3D game in just one line of C# -sharp code. So I opened up Unity and named the project Flappy Bird. You know, you can't just copy someone else's game and call it your own. What? I can't. No, you can't just remake Flappy Bird. But I'm making it in 3D. You still can't call it Flappy Bird. Then what am I supposed to do? I don't care, just make sure it's not Flappy Bird. So then I started thinking what I should call the game. Just make sure make it's sure not, not Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. It's not, not Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. It's not, not Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. Flappy Bird. Bird. So before starting the game, I stole some assets like a 3D pillar. Bor borrowed. I I mean I borrowed this pillar and imported it into Unity and made it green because you know green. Then I looked for some 3D birds and imported this ugly magnificent creature into Unity and made it yellow because you know yellow. Also, please consider subscribing if you are enjoying so far. Anyway, I then made the camera follow the bird and gave the world a sky which I think turned out pretty cool. Then I added a few things like trees and rocks, gave everything rigid bodies and box colliders. And now it's time for the hard part. So I made a new C# -sharp script and opened it up in Visual Studio. Now, one of the things that makes a language like C# -sharp different from let's say Python is that it doesn't need indentation on new lines. This means I can condense code no matter how long it is into one line. So then I started pressing some keys and wrote the logic to make the bird jump when the spacebar is pressed. But for some reason when I pressed the spacebar the bird became the highest in the room. So I did some tweaking to make it not become the highest in the room. And now it looks pretty good but it's not moving forward yet. So let's fix that. So again I borrowed some code and ran the game again. But for some reason the bird started going to the right. So I changed the direction in the code from forward to left and tried again and now it works. And then I duplicated the pillars because there's no way I'm writing code to procedurally generate the pillars to render and disappear in one line of code. Then I added a new tag called murder the bird to all game objects that should, you know, murder the bird. Then I wrote some logic that will load a new scene when the bird is dead, and that scene just shows this text. So after extending the platform some more and duplicating the pillars, I realized that I'm too lazy to make a win scene. So I made the game unbeatable by making the last pair of pillars a little too close to each other. This is all the code for not Flappy Bird. Let's see how it works. So I built the app, and this is what not Flappy Bird looks like. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss my next video. I leave the link to the GitHub repo of Not Flappy Bird in the description. Also join the Discord because I'm doing a bunch of giveaways very soon. Link in description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.